Welcome again to Midweek Prayer and we're recording this for the Tuesday this week because Tuesday is Candlemas and it includes my talk for Candlemas from the Zoom service on Sunday. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. With you, O oh God, is the well of life. And, and in, in your light shall we see light. Christ Jesus was revealed in the flesh and vindicated in the spirit. He was seen by angels and proclaimed among the nations. Believed in throughout the world, he was taken up in glory. This will be made manifest at the proper time by the blessed and only Sovereign. Who alone has immortality and dwells in unapproachable light. To the King of kings and Lord of lords be honour and eternal dominion. Amen. And Psalm 100. O oh, be joyful in the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is gracious, his steadfast love is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from generation to generation. O Christ, door of the sheepfold, may we enter your gates with praise and go from your courts to serve you in the poor, the lost and the wandering, this day and all our days. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father and, and to the, the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from Luke 2. Then after the purification had been completed in accordance with the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph brought Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, as prescribed in the law of the Lord. Every firstborn male shall be deemed to belong to the Lord, and also to make the offering as stated in the law, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. And, and I fear that I might have given you a bit of the wrong impression, because I've often talked about being open to those special promptings from God, and I think they are important. Uh, we always need to give God the chance to say something like, yes, I know that might seem the obvious way uh, forward, but on this occasion, I want you to do it differently. N not in a way you might expect. But I've been very much aware in recent months of the amazing thing that we have at the top of our heads. I know our minds can let us down, uh, they often get caught up with stuff which isn't really vital, um, they are prone, well certainly mine is, to overthink issues and choices and we get into sort of a rumination going round and round in circles when God just wants us to sort of let go of all that thinking and meet him in a deeper way. And I think that scripture is so important to us in this. And having a sort of daily routine of, of, he, of, of connecting with the Bible uh, and other writings, of sort of checking back with God, that we are listening to him and hearing the things that he has. That's our point of reference coming back, reading, hearing, contemplating, receiving uh, from God's word. But we have this amazing bit of kit at the top of our heads. The human mind is incredible. And very often the right thing for us to do is the obvious thing, to follow the obvious procedures, if you like. And I recognise that won't feel quite so glamorous or spiritual. It might seem much grand to say, 
well actually the Lord has laid it on my heart to do such and such. And that can be true, but there can be a lot of fine sounding words which dress up our insecurity about what is going on. And just to follow procedure may not feel exciting, but it may just bring us to the right place at the right time, as it brought Jesus to the right place at the right time, where he needed to be. His parents just followed procedure. And I think at this dark time for our world, um, there is a great need for us to follow procedure, to keep safe, to stay strong, so that we can be where God wants us to be at the right time and in the right place. Amen. From the 
rising of the sun to its setting, let us pray to the Lord. That the people of God in all the world may worship in spirit and in truth. Let, let us, us pray, pray to, to the, the Lord. Lord. That the church may discover again that, that unity which is the Father's will. Let, let us, us pray, pray to, to the, the Lord. Lord. That the nations of the earth may seek after the ways that make for peace. Let, let us, us pray, pray to, to the, the Lord. Lord. That the whole creation groaning in travail may be set free to enjoy the glorious liberty of the children of God. Let, let us pray, pray to, to the, the Lord. Lord. That all who with Christ have entered the shadow of death may rest in peace and rise in glory. Let, Let us pray, pray to, to the Lord. Lord. Let us commend the world to which Christ showed the way to the mercy and protection of God. Lord Jesus Christ, light of the nations and glory of Israel, make your home among us and present us pure and holy to your heavenly Father, your God and our God. Amen. O oh, good Jesus, word of the Father and brightness of his glory, whom angels desire to behold, teach, teach us to do your will, that guided by your Spirit, we may come to that blessed city of everlasting day, where all are one in heart and mind, where there is safety and eternal peace, happiness and delight, where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, world without end. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the light of Christ, our Lord, shine in all our hearts. Amen. Amen. And thanks for joining us. <laughs>